Hello everybody, I am Artemix11 and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to enhance text or 3D text. This could actually work on any text, but I'm going to be using 3D text today. Um, I have already 3D text that you can make it in Cinema 4D or Photoshop CX6 extended already. That's what I did here. <coughs> so, I just have a background here. If I'm just made it real fast so let's how do people enhance their text and make it look with texture and everything and basically make it look sexy well basically they use textures just like the ones in these uh, I got all my textures from ones that I found on the internet over time and just some uh, GFX packs that I've downloaded from other youtubers so I'm going to be using the 6k GFX pack by Conserjian can go check them out and let's grab a texture the one I used for the outro at the end of this video is this grunge wall right here it's really nice so let's grab that and drop it right in here now as you can see that's really small and to keep aspect ratio you're gonna hold down shift and you're gonna drag and make it bigger I'm just gonna rotate this find a spot that I like Maybe right about, I'm going to start from over here. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. Cover about half the text. Uh, maybe right about there will be good. Okay, so you're just going to paste it. Now you're going to put this over your text. Now you're going to want to set this to overlay. And you can see that already has it set up to it. But how do you get it removed? Well, basically, you're going to have your grunge texture or whatever texture you're using selected you're going to hold control or command and you're going to click on the little icon for your text that's going to mask it oh I, actually that's completely wrong sorry control d to deselect that sorry you're going to hold down alt and with your grunge text selected you're just going to click click why don't you want to click hmm, copied it and as you can see, it is a 3D layer. Finally, okay. Gonna hold, control, alt. Uh, there we go, finally. <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't working. You, I think you have to have the text selected. I had that wrong. Okay, so select the text and then click alt on the one you want to mask. So now you have this here. Now I'm just going to turn down the opacity just a bit on here, uh, maybe that's a bit, and you can actually still move this around. So I think that's about good. Now we're going to fix up, here let me remove my ruler lines, this is just when I was creating the text, so I could have it in the middle. No. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll show you how to remove that, I'm just going to use the erase tool, so, but I'm going to duplicate the grunge layer. I'm gonna slide this over here and maybe control T they'll allow me to free transform it. Maybe I'll just rotate it a different direction. That seems about good. Place that. Again, overlay. You're gonna hold you're gonna have your text selected. Hold down alt and no. Huh. I don't know how I get this to work before. there. Oh, that's really confusing. I haven't masked for a while. Now you can see this line here, that's just because of how the texture is. So again, I'm gonna... T so I'm going to take my... Not my glory tube. I'm gonna take my eraser tool and I'm going to click on it, then just change it. Now this is a fade brush, so I can just fade it. There. That looks nice. And there's a little bit here. Whoa. Don't want to let you see how much texture that removes. Use your brackets to kind of pull it down. Uh, oh well. I'll just turn down the opacity a bit. It's fine. Okay, so now how do we remove it from the red if you don't want it there and you just want it on the like silver or black? 
front plate. Well, I'm going to come into my grunge wall, take my eraser, and I'm going to zoom up holding alt. It's a bit too much. Sorry about those annoying sounds. Then hold shift and just drag down right in between here. Shift again, just kind of blur. Well, not blur, but just easily get rid of everything. Whoa. Don't hold shift, never mind. Gotta erase other stuff. One second. Okay, we're gonna drag, do this a bit more, just get in here. See, this is where you can easily tell what, oh, I'm on the other one now. This is where you can easily tell that it's just an overlaid texture. So it's really gonna help to get rid of those parts. It just makes it look a lot nicer. Let's get rid of this. Excuse me. Okay. Hold control and click zero to automatically fit to screen. Um, I think that's about it. Now you can also add other stuff like optical flares and stuff. So, let's see, what optical flares do I have? Um... How about some smoke? We'll just get some smoke in here. Set it to screen. Put it behind. Oh, enter. Put it behind all this. Turn down the opacity. And you just move it like here. Duplicate it. Whoopsie doopsie. Maybe kind of just turn it upside down and slant it a bit, then move it over here. Ah. Hmm, you can play around and do everything you want to for your name. But that's about... I'm going to turn down this opacity a bit more. Let's see, what can we do? Whoopsie doopsie. What can we do with the... No, because we need to have it on screen. Okay. How about a lens flare and then I'll call it good. Um... There's lights and flares. Module flares. Let's just get one of these. How about we do a red flare since that's kind of our color here. Screen. No. We have to put it above. This. Now you can do what you want. I'm going to turn down the opacity a bit. But yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you everybody for watching. Check out my other videos if you want. And just for all my other viewers, I'm not stopping my Minecraft videos, just so you know. I just like to do more than one thing. So, that's it for this tutorial. You can just save it as you want, and thank you everybody for watching. This is RMX11. See you next time.